Tell him to shut the fuck up. He's getting on my nerves. Marvin. Marvin. Marvin! I'd knock that shit off if I was you. Nah, you Why? Don't worry, I will. Yeah, and I bet you ten thousand dollars he laughs his ass off. I don't give a damn if he does. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Oh, what the fuck's happening? Oh, oh man, shit. man! Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Oh man, I see some crazy ass shit in my time, but just chill out, man. I told you it was an accident. You probably. He went over a bump or hey, something. Hey, the car ain't hit no motherfucking bump. Hey, look, man, I didn't I didn't mean to shoot the son of a bitch. The gun went off. I don't know why. Well, look at this fucking mess, man. We're on a city street in broad daylight here. Well, believe it, man. Well, believe it now. Well, say she comes home. What do you think she'll do? No, no fucking shit, she'll freak. That ain't no kind of answer. I mean, you know I don't. How much, a lot or a little. You got to appreciate what an explosive element this Bonnie situation is. I mean, she comes home from a hard day's work, finds a bunch of gangsters in her kitchen doing a bunch of gangster shit. Ain't no telling what she's liable to do. Yeah, I've grasped that, Jules. All I'm doing is contemplating the ifs. I don't want to hear about no motherfucking ifs. All I want to hear from your ass is, you ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the motherfucker. Go back in there, chill them niggas out, and wait for the cavalry, which should be coming directly. You ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the motherfucker. Go back in there and chill them niggas out. And wait for the wolf, which should be coming directly. You sending the wolf? Don't you feel better, motherfucker? Shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. You're Jimmy, right? This is your house? Sure is. I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. Good, we got one. So I heard. May I come in? Uh, yeah, please do. That gives us 40 minutes to get the fuck out of Dodge. Which, if you do what I say, when I say it, should be plenty. Now, you got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Jimmy? Uh-huh. Do me a favor, will you? Don't let's some coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, um, how do you uh, take it? Lots of cream, lots of sugar. Pop it. Oh, man. I will never forgive your ass for this shit. This is some fucked up, repugnant shit. Jules, did you ever hear the philosophy that once a man admits that he is wrong, that he is immediately forgiven for all wrongdoings? Have you ever heard that? Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. The motherfucker said that shit never had to pick up any bitty pieces of skull on account of your dumb ass. I got a threshold, Jules. I got a threshold for the abuse that I will take. Now, I'm right now, I'm a fucking race car, right? And you got me in a red. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying that it's fucking dangerous to have a race car in a fucking red. That's all. Fine job, gentlemen. You may get out of this yet. I can't believe this is the same car. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. Phase one is complete, clean the car, which moves us right along to phase two. Clean you two. Go off, where do you live? Redondo? Inglewood. It's, it's your future. I, I see a, a cab ride. Move out of the sticks, fellas. Say goodnight, Raquel. Good night, Raquel. I'll see you guys around. Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. Mr. Wolf, I just want to tell you it was a real pleasure watching you work. Yeah, I really am. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. Call me, Winston. 
You see that, young lady? Respect. Respect for one's elders shows character. I have character. Because you are a character doesn't mean that you have character. <laughs>